Now let's understand what composer.json file is, what it represents, whatever we, what all we write in the composer.json file, what it means, and what is composer.log file. So whenever we have or we download uh, any project based on composer, it has it comes with two files called composer.json, composer.log. Yeah, this is a a file that comes with a, a Drupal project, and this is the file that came with Drupal project again. So Drupal.json has a lot of information. It has uh, what template of composer i have used for setting up this project drupal project so i've used drupal recommend project description type of license type of project other information other repositories required conflict extra so we are i'm going to explain everything to you um so before that let me show you a basic command a few commands which are required uh, to download a module so let's suppose i have i have contribute a module called so this module is basically uh, it, it uh, provides integration with AWS service called called CloudWatch logs with Drupal so if I want to now uh, this this module is simply saying that it has dependency of which library it has dependency of AWS library so in in order to make this module work I would have to download this library individually but if i am working or i have composer setup so in that case i would simply go and run composer require the name of my project drupal slash aws cloud logs and it will download that library for me okay so let's see that Okay, so you can see that it has downloaded this module, Drupal key, this this mod library, and this library. Let's see if it has downloaded the module for me. Uh, go to the web directory, and then I will go to the module folder, country folder, and it has downloaded both the modules for me, key module and AWS CloudWatch logs. Um, Okay, so I am not worrying about dependencies anymore. Composer has resolved that for me. And if I go to my composer.json file, you can see the AWS CloudWatch log is, is now added into the required section of my composer.json. That is what require command does. It requires the package and adds that dependency in my required, com required section of composer.json. In my composer log, I would see it has logged on which version, this version. So, composer.json file is the file which lists the basic information of my about my project, the name, description, license, what the packages repository it, it, it is dependent on, it, and uh, what all dependencies are required for running this or for setting up this project. So this is specified in the composer.json file and other informations like what minimal dependency stability it, uh, it want it needs to have uh, other information like uh, the structure of my uh, project like where my core is going to be if my you know, library module where it should be downloaded into so everything is listed about my project in the composer.json file now composer.log file is uh, for maintaining the log version of all the packages i have required in the composer.json file so in the line number 819 it is telling me that i'm uh, require a module require a package called this with with 1.0 or higher version now if i go to the composer.log file it will simply lock my project with this version so this will help and for example there are multiple developers working on this project now uh, i will commit my composer.log file and composer.json file that is it i will not commit uh, my country module and that is the idle way of working in a drupal is composer based uh, project i will not commit anything uh, like my modules contributed modules and will commit these two files only. 
so at the, at after taking pull the other developer will simply run compose and install um, and this will that uh, uh, that person or the developer will get the logged version of that package whatever is logged over here so if if the version is logged something else to so that so dev developer will get that version of this project only so composer.log file helps in maintaining or locking the version of projects